Darwin's back in lockdown. Time for another lockdown project. This is the next instalment in my shot cam shooting videos. As usual, my caveat is that uh, I am not an expert and I'm not trying to give advice. This particular video is about trying to come up with a quick and easy method of sighting in the shot cam. Um, so I've experimented with lasers a little bit. Um, the shot cam itself comes with a laser, um, but I've also purchased a um, cartridge shell with a laser that comes out of it. So I'll just take you through that. Uh, how I set it up, the bits and pieces I bought, and where I got them, and show you the end product. This is, I'm starting at the end here, so this is basically the finished product. I've got a couple of PVC fittings from the local hardware shop and some clips from the camping shop, um, and I can set this up on a table um, anywhere I need to. The beauty of this is if I take off the stock and so forth, um, I don't freak people out when I'm trying to set this up and they see what I'm doing. So this is the laser beam shotgun cartridge, bought it offline on, a, uh, on X Hunter actually um, for 35 bucks. It's basically got three little batteries in there. Um, you flick the batteries out. There's a little nylon washer that stops any connection to start with, so you just have to flick it out. So this thing is either basically on or off. You have to be a little bit careful putting these batteries in because they do flip as they go in, so you need to check them each time. So, but as that last battery goes in, you start to see the laser flick on, um, and then you know things will set up. Uh, screw it back on, and or screw the cap back on, and then away you go laughing. So here I'm in my lounge room. I've got the laser beam on on the shot cam, and I just slip the cartridge into the top barrel. I'm rotating that and then I can tell if there's any misalignment. So looking at that, you know, that's um, quite good. So I'm quite happy. Um, the distance looks okay visually. So the first bit you'll see here is um, where I'm down in the car park and I've actually put the laser cartridge in the bottom barrel. So this was before I had the brackets. I had the camping clip to start with and I thought I'd experiment before spending too much more time on it. So this next shot, you can see a piece of paper on the wall and you can see two laser beams. The one at the bottom to the right is the one off the shot cam and the one at the top is from the barrel. And the next shot shows you how I've moved the piece of paper up and I've got the laser from the barrel pointing in the middle of a round circle. That way I can see that on the calibration tool for the shot cam. I can't see just the laser beam. So the next shot shows you how I've calibrated using the iPad and you can now see that the black dots are right in the middle of the reticle. So what did I use to make up these brackets? The first one is a 22 mil clip that you clip onto uh, a camping tent, get them at somewhere like BCF or a camping store. And I've also connected it to a 20 millimeter coupling that allows the bracket to go into it. But I've brought a 25 mil T-junction. So these are all electrical parts you can get at the hardware shop and they just happen to all slip together and slip together nicely and quite tightly. So the, the two little clips, uh, camping clips, clip to the bottom barrel and you can just move them. They don't grab it too tight and they just move a little bit, but that's fine because it's all nicely balanced. So this is the finished product. It's nice and easy, easy to set up, cheap to buy, just clip it on and I can set um, the shot cam up at home. It doesn't freak anybody out because it's not the whole gun and it doesn't have the stock. Um, and it saves me setting up before I go shooting, just before I go shooting, and somebody's aiming at a target and waving it around. And that means you've got to guess basically where the setup needs to go. Yeah, it cost me about 35 bucks for the laser um, cartridge which I'll use for practicing mounting and so forth, and I think it cost me about another 
25 bucks for all the plastic fittings or maybe 30 bucks for the other plastic fittings. So it's not too expensive. Nice and easy to set up. Um, yeah, and if I, um, if I need to clip it onto anybody else's gun, as long as I've got the barrels there, I can set it up quick and easy before we go shooting.